really important. Um, comparing distribution, you can be asked to compare data sets looking at graphs. Most commonly, it's going to, going to be box plots and scatter plots. Now, scatter plots, we use a completely different way of discussing them, so don't worry about scatter plots for this. This is covering everything else, so mainly box plots. What we need to look at is center spread and shape. Now, I'm going to add in an extra step here. I'm going to add in context at the start. You need to mention context. These three they're interchangeable in the way that they go. You can put them in any order you want, doesn't really matter. I don't care if you go shape, center, spread, or you go spread, shape, center, doesn't matter. What you need is context at the start. So you need a context as to what is going on. So I've been given box plots that, say these are box plots, uh, compare the beep test scores of boys and girls in a class. So you need to say that when you're describing, you need to say what's going on. What am I actually discussing? Because if I just, just just start discussing numbers, it doesn't look great. I'm just discussing numbers with no sort of rhyme and reason as to why I'm doing that. So you need context. And it's one thing that isn't on this slide. And I don't actually think it's in this example here. Um, you need to have context. So here is a set of box plots. You've got a score. Let's just say this is a test score and you've got boys and girls and we'll say this is in a class so i think what's really important here is you need to say at the start like um the following i'm just gonna write the following uh power box plots so parallel box plots you're obviously not going to shorthand it like this but i'm just shorthanding it for the sake of time the following parallel box plots displays uh the test scores for boys and girls in a class full stop so obviously i've just shorthanded that but that's what you want to that's what you want to say at the start so if you want to get your full marks you need to give context you need to refer back to the question i know this is particularly something for science students so obviously i do i do a bit um science tutoring um so for me it's a big thing much bigger because it's a much bigger aspect in science, but it is a thing in maths as well. You need to give context. When you have a question and you've been given data or information, you need to go back to the context and say, what is the context of this data? What's actually going on? And then describe the numbers. So here, if you take out that context, all you've got is the distribution of boys' scores on the test are negatively skewed, whilst girls' scores distribute is positively skewed. There are no outliers. The median score for boys is higher than for girls. The IQR is smaller for boys than girls. The range for the scores for boys and girls is equal. That means nothing to me. I need to know what's going on. So you need to give some context. You need to say, hey, the following got parallel box plus displays the test scores for boys and girls in a class, full stop. That's all I need to say. It gives context, it tells me what's going on, and then you move on. So as you can see here, this has been a really good descriptor because it's, other than not having the context, which I've just added in, it goes through center, spread, and shape. So it goes through the shape first. So it talks about the skew. Um, and we all know that sort of positively skewed skews out to the positive, negatively skewed skews out to the negative. So it skews out towards zero. And then, you know, you have symmetrical if it goes like that. Um, as it says here, the girls are, the girl score is positively skewed because as you can see here, it's skewing out here. I should have put those lines on the wrong ones, sorry. Made that more confusing for everyone. Um, it skews out towards the positive. The longer the longer sides are at the positive end, and then you can see the boys is negatively because the longer sides are at the negative end. So it's skewing out like that. So describes that. It also describes that whether there are outliers. That's just an extra thing. It wasn't really mentioned before, but it's something that's important to mention. Then it says the median scores. So it talks about the center, the median scores, and then it discusses the IQR and the range, which is the uh, spread of our data. So we've got spread, so we've gone shape, center, spread. So a different order to what we discussed before, it doesn't really matter that order. The context is the only thing that needs to, to stay in the same place and that's at the start. So really important, that's how we go about it. 